Good morning. This is Laurie Bennett, and today we're going to talk about how technology can affect you in your everyday life and also how it can help you in your learning experiences and how it may have affected others that you might know. The first thing that we're going to do is take a little informal quiz on how techno savvy are you. It's really meant to see how prepared that you will be if you plan to take some online courses through college or high school level and uh, to see how ready that you might be in order to take those. So what you need to do is we're going to go through these questions and just on a piece of paper just mark down how many times you answer yes and then at the end we're going to count up your score and see how you rate. The first questions are have you done any of the following before? Save and receive email. Send and receive or locate email attachments. Use spell check to correct spelling errors. Save or delete files on an external storage device. And scan for viruses using virus scanning software. The next set of questions. Create a folder or subdirectory. Use WinZip or similar software to compress or decompress files. Search for information on the internet using search engines. Create a bookmark or favorite to locate a specific website. Save an image from the web. Format a Word document using columns or tables. Copy or cut and paste information between programs. Manipulate multiple windows or programs simultaneously. Sort data in a spreadsheet. Create a chart in a spreadsheet. And this is the last set of questions on this. Insert a table and or chart from Excel to a Word document. Download applications or plugins from the internet. Install software and or plugins on a computer. Create a PowerPoint presentation with graphics. Create a web page using, using HTML or a page generator. Add sound and or video to a presentation. Okay, now tally up your results. Count how many times you answered a yes. And we're going to see how you rate. So if you scored a 0 to 9, web-based courses may not be the best alternative for you. So you might be uh, more suited to be in a general classic type classroom setting. If you scored a 10 to a 14, your score indicated you'll probably be successful, but you may need to learn a few new skills to excel in an online classroom. And lastly, if you scored 15 to 21, your score indicates no serious problems. You appear to possess the skills needed to succeed. In other words, you're pretty caught up on modern technology and how it's used with, uh, with education and online distance learning. Now here's a quick little, little layout here for TechSpeak. I'm going to leave this up for a minute. How many of these do you recognize? Can you recognize and know what they mean? So how many were you able to get? Did you get them all? This was created using a web 2.0 application called wordle.net. It's a really neat little application that you could use really on any kind of um, something that you wanted to put together. You enter in all of your terms and then you can choose the layout, you can choose the color, you can choose the font. Um, it's a really neat kind of little presentation thing that you can use. I um, suggest that you try it out. It's kind of a neat little application. Now on to our assignment for the day. 
your assignment today, we're going to talk about digital dinosaurs. Digital dinosaurs are people that basically were born before 1980. Um, those were people like me who were born before the age of computers. And so we have had to adapt our lives to incorporate technology and, and figure out how to use it in our everyday lives. Most people born after 1980 um, don't really remember a time before computers or even the Internet video games and things like that and so their lives are completely different because they did not have to adapt an old lifestyle and incorporate technology into a new one they were born and raised with technology digital natives is what they're called and that's what you guys probably are if you're um, doing this assignment right now you are probably considered a digital native so what you're gonna do is you're gonna find someone who's considered a digital dinosaur you're gonna do an interview with them and we'll talk about the requirements here First of all, the goal. The goal is to see how technology has changed the lives of a digital of digital dinosaurs. In other words, those born before 1980. So you need to find someone who was born before 1980, ask them if you can do an interview, and talk to them about how technology has changed their life. Your role. You're a newspaper reporter. You're going to write a story about how technology has changed our daily lives in just one lifetime. And so that's the role that you're going to play for this assignment. You're going to write a newspaper article. Your audience is the readers of the newspaper. The newspaper could be in print or online. Now that we have this technology, more and more newspapers are uh, dropping off out of print and you're finding more people that are reading the newspaper online. So your article is going to be written with that in mind, both print and online um, basis. The situation is you've been assigned to write a story about how technology has changed the life of a digital dinosaur, one born before 1980. You can choose any person born before 1980 to interview. You can choose a parent, a teacher, a family member, a pastor, anyone that you know that was born before 1980 because they're all probably going to have similar stories about how they've had to change their life to incorporate technology into it. Your product performance and purpose. You're going to write out your interview questions before the interview so that you'll be prepared and you'll know what you're going to ask. You can always ask more questions that you don't have with you, but if you go ahead and write out your questions beforehand, you'll be a little more prepared and when you talk to them, if you get stuck in a point, you can refer to your questions, and that will kind of keep you on track for your interview. You're going to interview your subject, and then you're going to write the article. Your standards and criteria for success. You're going to include a written or recorded transcript of the interview, so you can either write down all their answers, or you can actually make a recording of it so that you can make a, a transcript of the interview. That way, later on, when you go to write your um, your article, it'll be easy for you to remember all the answers and you'll be able to go back and refer to that so you don't forget anything. The article, of course, must be well written. It must include answers to the analysis and reflection questions that I'm going to give you later on. It's going to be written down for you. And you'll use the rubric as your guide as you'll be graded using it. So you'll also have a rubric in front of you. And so that way you know exactly what to expect and what kind of things that you'll need to include in your interview in order for you to be successful and get the highest grade possible for this. And that's basically the end of the assignment. And now we'll hand out all of your papers and we'll let you go ahead and get started brainstorming on who you might want to talk to for your interview and how you're going to go about completing this assignment.